Wow, you look such a natural at that game. At camel racing. <laughs> no, do you know what? They're, they're strange animals to ride. Yeah, I'm not they're used different. to them. I'm not really used to the big animals. You didn't mind it, did you? No, I quite enjoyed it. I've sat on a camel before, you see. You ride horses, though, don't you? Yeah, I you've do. You've got more of the natural kind I have of in, rhythm. And unfortunately, you've never really rode either, have you? No, and they did give me the smaller camel, but it just didn't, <laughs> it didn't make any difference. The thing with, the, the, with this show is, and I know that you guys have been offered so many shows to do... Yeah. ..that that you've waited, quite sensibly waited, for the yeah. right one to come along. I feel like we've been patient, it's paid off, because this show for us was typically... It was typically us, it was, it was challenging, and we're obviously very competitive people. Yeah. It took us out of our natural comfort zones, and it was, like... It was just every challenge was a reveal to us. We never knew what we were coming up against. So just explain a little bit how it works. So, basically, it's very natural. It's not kind of scripted at all in any way. Me and Chris, we're on the road and we're getting challenges put in by the ITV2 viewers. And it's to challenge them to their challenge they've decided. And it's us v them. And we don't know what it is. So we turn up on the day and we genuinely have no clue what we're doing. We get a text sent to us by them. We meet them and then it's challenge time. And we've had the most yeah. weird... Strange challenges. And do you bring different strengths to different things? Do you sort of recall your, your skills, that you've got your skills Well, we're now? both very competitive, aren't yeah. we? Chris likes to think he brings the uh, academic side. Yeah. He likes to boast about some of the great right. things. But He's right. I unfortunately yeah. don't. I like to think <laughs> I'm a little bit street smart sometimes. No, that is it. Kem's very street smart. So anything what requires street knowledge, he's good at. But anything where you need a bit of a brain... So waxing work and camels. Yeah. We That's didn't really use yeah, a little bit different yeah. actually using any of that. But, yeah, do you know, we've had so much fun doing it and we're so glad we waited for this type of opportunity because it just felt yeah. so comfortable doing yeah. it and we're really excited for everyone to watch it. Oh, oh, baby wrestling. Oh, don't. He was so, the number one in the world Guinness it? Book of Records. Four times running. Star. Yeah. And that was actually brutal. It doesn't sound... What's it? Is it just wrestling in gravy? Wrestling I mean, in gravy. So slippy? Time round, it's very slippery. But you're slamming people in. We obviously S had to get a special move and, and we put one together because... Uh, and what was that? The CK. The CK sledgehammer. And, and we and took and him down. What does it involve? Basically, like, we'll get on the top rope, I give him the C, Kem comes on top of me, off the top rope, gives him the K, <laughs> then we... Basically, that's exactly. combined with the sledgehammer. Yeah. And then we pin him, job done. And you but, you won? Wow, well, you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Do you know? It was just... Judging by your little smug face, I think we should probably... It was just the weirdest thing. Like, I got home, my mum was like, why do you stink of gravy? Like, <laughs> I couldn't get it off my skin. I stunk of it for, like, three, four uh, days. I swear to you, we're gravy resting. Five days later, if you think of gravy, you can you can kind of smell it on you naturally. Listen, we both came from Saturday morning kids' telly. We smelled the beans for about yeah. five I haven't, years. I haven't had gravy since. Yeah. Still really? haven't had it. I refuse to have it since I've been put off. I, I just imagine that you're walking across, you know, sort of after a Sunday roast, walking across yeah. and spilling a little bit of it's thinking, not. Oh, here we go. It's because he has <laughs> Turkish barbecues and not yeah, Sunday we, roast. That's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> we don't have both. So, we, <laughs> we so are you watching Love Island? Yeah, of course. Well, you're doing the podcast, which is yeah. hugely successful, you yeah. boys. Is it weird to see? see the Love Island mania? Because obviously when you were in there, you had no idea. You came out and realised that it was a massive success. But now watching it from the outside, it must be weird. Yeah, it's... I think it's been different this year in terms of... There's obviously loads of drama and it took a, you know, it took a week or two to get going. But obviously, you know, the success of it last year has just carried on and people are gripped on it again. Yeah. And, you know, that's, that's going to happen. It was a I big show. I think for me, like, I didn't know what it was going to be like. Because when I was in there, everyone come out and they're like, they were so big, you don't actually realise. Yeah. And now I'm hooked, I'm like, right, I understand. Yeah. Because it's so relatable to anyone from any age, whether people think it's cringe or they think this, everyone can relate to that moment where you've been there with a boy or girl. So everyone can kind of understand yeah. it. Yeah. So it, everyone's just hooked. Your podcast is huge. Yeah, it's been absolutely huge. Like, we, the figures, Ken. <laughs> we, we wanted to get a million by the end of the show and we've got three weeks left, we're on like 2.1. Oh, so it's amazing. It's been, it's been it's amazing. Really like, I'm really happy and um, all the guests have been I was so going to ask you if you were in this year's Love Island who you would have coupled up with, but if we believe what we read in the press, you've already coupled don't, up with Pendle and Rosie. You, no, 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 don't believe what you read. <laughs> um, Just quickly. We, <laughs> we saw the picture of you kissing. I think we talked about kissing? it on here. Well, it looked like you were kissing. No, nah, they, they, they just had a nice... Like, obviously, they get angles, don't they? We had to take them for drinks after all the guests. You have to. You have to. Oh, it's like, it's like forced There's to. There's no pictures of you having a chat with any of the boys that have been kicked out. Where was your chat with Adam? Did you take Adam for a drink? Yeah, I actually did take him for a drink. But they, they didn't want to take a photo of that because it was a new that to him. <laughs> Honestly, I, I swear yesterday. to God, they all come for drinks. They just chuck you under the bus every time. <laughs> what is this? Everyone be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone be crazy today. But you're so both the fact single is it then. It was just a case of you going just out friends. for a drink. Yes, it was yeah. just friends. There is nothing there nothing at all. No, no because benefit. Friends. Because if you don't tell us the truth and something happens for real, I'll be so cross with you. Have I ever lied to you? Never. Never. And we've been friends for a long time. Never. You've never lied to me. So are you both currently single? 
single. Yeah. I'm still looking for love, looking for my princess, but Are I haven't found it yet. Oh. He's just got me for now, hasn't he? Just got each other. It's not a bad replacement. This, is awesome. <laughs> this isn't work, is it, for you to do this? <laughs> No, it's, it's fun. It, it, do you know what? We just so, like, we really appreciate it now. To think a year on from the show and you always hear, like, you don't know what you're going to do. We're so grateful for the fact that ITV have given us a chance to do yeah. another show, something that we really enjoy. So we're really going full steam ahead with it. And we really hope everyone loves it because we've properly enjoyed filming it. So It, uh, it looks really it good fun. And, and as, as Holly said earlier on, you know, obviously we've set you your next challenge, yeah. your next series, <laughs> and that is, camel is, is mixing the camel racing <laughs> and the, the, the waxing of the rugby player. It's now camel Under waxing. Under one condition, if yeah. we can do it against you guys. I'm not waxing oh, that, a camel. Well, that, was, that, was the, that was the rule. <laughs> That's camels, the rules. That's no, the rules. Camels are quite nice to wax. I'm not sure that's thick, allowed. Like thick hair. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's quite so spicy. excited about it. I reckon you could. Considering this, you cannot wax a camel. I you am can. assuming that there will be animal rights people jumping up and down saying it is under no circumstances yeah. that you wax a camel. <laughs> well, I gave my camel a backhander just to make sure. I... <laughs> oh, the <laughs> no, no, you did. And right in that moment, you're doing so well. You did it. So well.